We're taking you live to the US now where the new House Speaker is speaking in the Senate. And will not always be found in Washington. That's why one of our very first hearings will be held on the southern border. No more ignoring a crisis of safety and sovereignty. We must secure our border. We must get America back on track. Now on a personal note to my family, here and at home, to Judy, Megan, Connor, Emily, my brother Mark, Monica, Zach, and yes, my mom, Bert. I am where I am because you are who you are. You can stand. I'd also like to thank my constituents in California Central Valley. Yes, and especially my hometown of Bakersfield. I don't know if you're familiar with music, but as Buck Owens sings, how many of you that sit and judge me have ever walked the streets of Bakersfield? <laughs> well, I've walked those streets my entire life. I know it's people. They're hardworking and relentless, optimistic about our future. And I'm very honored to have the opportunity to represent them. I am a son of a firefighter. I saw firsthand what it means to have hard work, leadership, and service to others it can change people's lives. And that is exactly why we are here today, to serve you, the people. We come here with the support of our families and the faith of our neighbors to be their voice in Washington. For all the wives and husbands, children and parents who are watching, a loved one to be sworn in, I knew it took a couple extra days. I'll be honest, it's not how I had it planned. <laughs> I want you to remember this moment. Take it in. Your loved ones are about to make history. My colleagues and I thank you for your understanding and your sacrifice. And we will work every day to make you proud. My most favorite spot in this building is not in this chamber. It's in the chamber they met before, in Statuary Hall. It's my favorite place to take people on a tour. You see, it's where Abraham Lincoln served. He was just a one-term congressman, sat in the back. I like to go to that spot and I like to stand where he stood. I like to do it at night when people aren't around. I like to look over and look at the clock. Because that's the same clock and same view that Abraham Lincoln saw. I've watched Lincoln serve in the greatest challenge to our Constitution, the Civil War. I watched him take people who were rivals and put them together. I watched at a time that he did not know if a nation could sustain itself, but he dreamt of a future and built a railroad across the nation. I want us to all take a moment one time that you are here. I want you to stand there. I want you to look 
And I want you to think, if America could do it then, we can do it now one more time. That was the newly elected House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, speaking there. He was elected after 15 rounds of voting.